Hey guys, it's Nick Knack here, bringing you the next episode of our Dark Souls Let's Play. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, on our last episode, what we did is we made it through all of Sin's Fortress, got the shortcut, so we could just jump right into the boss, um, and then kind of uh, try to make our way to in Orlando. Um, at that point, that is really what we're up against now. Um, we're going to we go ahead and take it on the boss of this area, which is the Iron Golem. And, uh, you know, hopefully getting through him so we can make it to Ander Orlando. And then uh, once we make it to Ander Orlando, depending on how much time we have left, we may go ahead and try to just make some progress there, some forward progress. Um, you know, if you're liking the series and you are wanting to see more, then please hit that like, subscribe, and definitely comment down below. Um, just to let me know what you're liking about the series or, you know, anything, any changes that need to be made. Um, you know, I definitely appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and go in here and get started. You know, these stupid snakes um, always want to want to try to mess with us a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and slide past them real quick. Um, I did do some, uh, a little bit, not, not a whole bunch, but a little, oh shit. Oh no. A little bit of grinding. Wow. Calm down here. See what happens. Um. We'll do a little bit of grinding, and then, uh, I, well, I did do a little bit of grinding, sorry about that. Um, and I got the war pick up to a acceptable level. And then now, um, it, it's a little bit harder for us, so we don't have to worry about so much. I am not used to the timings on this rolls. Wow, wow. Well, that was not good. <laughs> Being down there, was not expecting that, but, well, uh, oh well. We'll go ahead and start from the bonfire. Um, there is that whole little area down there, if you're wondering why I'm not addressing that area down there right now. Um, just because, I mean, I want to kind of make it past in Orlando and all that before I come back and do some things like that. I'll probably put that area in my little cleanup episode where I go back and do things that I haven't done just yet. Um, there's a couple things I want to do th with that. So I'll leave that for that area. Um, but moving forward here, we're going to go take on the Iron Golem. Or the Iron Guardian, maybe? Uh, I'm not quite sure the exact naming of him, but I know he's Iron something. Again, and then this time I just instantly died. That's crazy. So, Sin's Fortress is fun. I know we've had a heck of a time in these last three episodes trying to figure it out, trying to get past some things. So, we're just going to keep on moving through. This time, we'll see if I can make it through the little booby trap area, the blades that go across. Okay. So you just gotta take it slow. If you go too fast, then you'll end up screwing up and things happen. Hey, you got to hit off. Now you're going to fall all the way down while I go up. Alright. So we up here. And we going to... We are going to... Why did I say it like that? For, that's funny. Uh, we are going to take on the Iron Golem. I wonder if you could see him. Yeah, hey, you can see him. He's right over there. See him holding his little... His little... Hammer. He tries to hit us with their club or mace, whatever you want to call it. Wow, that really does kind of hit hard. All right, so we're gonna jump into it, and see what type of damage we can do to him, if any at all, <laughs> and that's how it goes. See, this guy seems all big and intimidating and whatnot, but I mean, if you get in the right area with him, then it's not really that intimidating. Got to not have this happen. Because that hurts. Uh, 
fail. Aren't you a stompy little... Stomp, stomp. The best thing about him is he can just kind of stay in between his legs here. Nothing crazy happens to him. Plus he gets stunned really easy. Which is good. I think you can make him fall off with that. Like, in the right area. This is actually a good weapon to do it with now I think about it. Because, uh... I think this drains stamina. No! Don't throw me off, don't throw me off, don't throw me off. Yes. So this is more like about balance in a way than is anything else. Oh, oh no, I thought he was. I thought he was being clumsy. Are you being clumsy? Yeah, he is. Well, that's all she wrote for the Iron Gold. Hope you guys have fun. That was, uh,. You know, something. <laughs> you know, it's all in fun. You know, I love I love Dark Souls. I mean, it, it's such a good game. I know right now I'm, uh, it, that seemed super easy. And, yeah, I mean, some of the bosses are a little gimmicky and easy. But, you know, I think it got a bad rap for being this ultra hard game that nobody wanted to really get into. But, you know, if you learn how to dodge and you learn, just like any other game, it has a little bit of a learning curve. But yeah, we're going to take a look at this ring of light here. And this ring of light is going to call forth some demons. Oh no, they're going to attack me. Ah. <laughs> that, was, that was not genuine, by the way. They're not going to take me. They're not going to do anything crazy. He's gonna bring me over the wall so I can get to Anna Orlando. It's weird how that is because like it's funny because right over the wall is this whole grand city and before that you have Sin's Fortress. It's kinda of funny how that is, because it's like it's kinda of dreary on the other side, and then right here it's like, yeah, you got this whole city. Can I see your can I see Sin's Fortress from here? Kinda can through the slits. That's cool. Well, all right. Let's go ahead and try to make it to the bonfire. Yeah. I mean, so far, I mean, we've kind of breezing through the uh, the bosses. Um, I don't think I'm over leveled, and I don't think this weapon is like ultra powerful or anything. So, I don't know. I think it was a good matchup against the Iron Golem, just because it does attack the the stamina. I'm pretty sure. So, with the attack on the stamina, I mean, yeah, it's going to do, he wobbles around a bit and then falls down and then you're good to go. Well, alright, made to the bonfire. We're going to level up real quick. Um, I want to put some endurance. That much endurance. One in the dex and one in the health. Yeah, I like that. Remember, our goal is just to make a 40-40 quality build, so nothing crazy. Well, if you exit here, and if this you is the amber person, amber lady. Mm, what is it? What? She's like, what is it? What do you need? I'm here to just do nothing, really. All right. So we are going to make our way down here. Mm, I'm going to get these chests real quick first. Because these guys, they guard chest, and they're going to come alive and start to attack us anyway eventually. So, might as well go grab it now. Might as well go grab it now. Hey, buddies. Get that thing in tight night. You guys are real fun. Can I get out of here, please? Thank you. Okay.
Yeah, but I definitely think that this game, it is, it is, it can be hard. Certain areas of it, like Sin's Fortress, can be really, really hard. Um, <clears throat> given you know, what you kind of have to go through through all that, and you know, we obviously went through some trouble with it. But I think if you are prepared well enough, then you're good to go. I need to get out of here and heal up real quick. Let's draw these guys over here for a second. I really like their armor. It's really cool. Got some twinkling. And... Oh no, that's a freak. It's a mimic. Is he gonna kill me? I did not think that was a mimic. Back here, so let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, since that's since I know that's a mimic now, then maybe if I hit you, you'll follow me. Oh, uh, where those guys will just push me into you, which is. Fun, 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 fun. Alright, there we go. The mimics are so big. Like, there's, he's as big as the giants. Their tongues are kind of creepy. Oh! Flying roundhouse. That's not fun. And not let them grab you. If you let them grab you, it's pretty much all over. Alright. The mimic is down. Let's see what goodies he had. He had a crystal halberd. Probably something I will never use. I mean... I like the war pick a lot, and I think it is doing really well here. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm kind of torn because I like the Yato too. The Yato makes it so. Oh, he can actually have them both on now. Yay. Alright, so now I can switch back and forth. That works. But basically, this is kind of how I wanted to do it. I wanted to do be able to switch back and forth um, between the Yato and the war pick. And you may remember this guy from before. When we fought him with um, Sunny McSunbro. I know you can cut off their tails, but I'm not really I don't I don't really care. Really don't want that weapon that he gives, so it's the I know the one up on the bell tower, before you ring the bell, it gives you the axe, and then he gives you the halberd, if I'm not mistaken. But I mean, it feels like I'm kind of over-leveled. I know I'm not, because it doesn't really... I mean, it it does, but it doesn't feel like I'm over-leveled. So, I mean, I'm going to keep on going kind of have to be a little bit over level for who I'm about to fight. If anybody's ever played this game before, you know who I'm about to fight. And have as many levels as possible is definitely worth it. Alright. Him out. Painted guardians. Their stupid little throwing knives. All right. I think I gotta go up. Yeah. Gotta go up this ladder. So we're, yeah, we're just making some progress. I mean, we beat the iron golem. I mean, that wasn't as as time consuming as I thought it was gonna be. So we're just kind of making our way through. At a 
definitely a kind of a jogging pace here cuz I mean I you know I really really thought the iron golem was going to be a little bit harder and uh don't get discouraged guys if you're playing along with me and uh and, and you're not kind of going through things as quickly like I said I I have played this before Oh oh no I have played this before, so I mean, some bosses and things like that, I mean, they are going to be a little bit easier for me. So, not to say I'm, I'm good, obviously, I mean, from what you just saw, but I do have a little bit of fami familiarity. Wow, I really have a lot of trouble with that word. Familiarity with this game that allows me to kind of run through certain things that a lot of people weren't. I think the thing that kills me the most, though, in these games in Dark Souls is environment stuff. I don't think... I mean, I can't remember the last time I actually had real trouble with the boss. Now, when we make it to Dark Souls 2, there's one boss in particular that is rough. And that boss is the Smelter Demon. Smelter Demon is one of the most roughest enemies for me to fight for some reason. I don't know if it's just the timing or what, but the Smelter Demon is definitely a rough boss. I mean, speaking of rough bosses, uh, we're about to fight, I keep saying, you know, the next boss, but it's actually going to be, it's going to be Ornstein and Smaug, and neither one of those guys are actually that fun to fight either. I think, I know that, um, in Dark Souls 3, uh, the dragon from the DLC actually got up there too, so, you know. There is hard bosses everywhere. Now, I do want to make it back to my souls, so are you guys going to be chill? Let me make it back to my souls, or are you guys going to be douchey? All right. Don't make me fall off. I always get a little like twitchy whenever I'm uh, up on beams like this in games. I don't know if anybody else gets like that. I'm not like, and funny because in, in IRL I'm not really scared of heights. But in video games there's something about how dramatic they make it I guess. I think that's, that's it. Need the drink. Ugh. There's knives. Okay. Alright, so we almost made it. Almost there. Alright. We made quite a bit of progress in this episode so far. I don't know if we'll make it all the way through in Orlando. But we definitely made it through the point where I can get the shortcut. Frame drops there. Now, when we make it to Dark Souls 3, you'll you'll um, be reminded of this area just a little bit. Actually, that's the funny thing about Dark Souls 3, um, is they took a lot of inspiration from this game. And I think it's just because it's the same it, It's the same guy. Dark Souls 2 was a little bit different. I think he gave it to one of his, his, uh, his like, employees, another writer, to do that one. Miyazaki. I know some of you guys are thinking like Hayao Miyazaki, which is not it's not him. I mean this world is fantastical enough to be him, but it's not. This has a little bit more darkness to it than like some of like Hayao Miyazaki stuff. If you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about the animator, um, and he's he's got a lot of good movies out there. I definitely recommend checking him out. 
if you haven't already. He has things like, um, I know most of you guys are probably familiar with Spirited Away or Howl's Moving Castle. Those are all his movies. Those are all really, really good movies. I definitely would recommend those any day of the week. That's like my childhood. And my adulthood. There's certain things that you just never let go of. and Miyazaki's movies are that for me. You know what, fighting two of these guys is quite annoying. Quite annoying, quite annoying. I don't know. Flip out of here. Ninja style. And only one follows, that's good. Ugh, shield slam. It's funny because you get like trapped within his legs. And then he can just shield smash you. Yeah, but fighting two of you guys is not fun, so I need to I need you guys to pick what's gonna happen here. I mean I don't mind trading. Oh, so you want another piece, huh? Ugh. There we go. Alright, so we got one down. One to go. There we go. And he's down. I wonder if we're going to be able to make it all the way inside. That'd be cool. To at least get the door open. These guys kind of suck. You know what? I'm not even going to fight you. I'm going to head down here. You guys can't follow me anyway. Oh, but you can't throw stuff. Ow. Flip. 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 I don't know guys. This doesn't look that good. Nope, nope. Point blank. To the face. I was dead before I hit the ground. <laughs> This is another one of those areas that is super rough. I mean, I think it's actually it's a little bit worse than um than Sin's Fortress trying to get past all that. Yeah. We're gonna give it one more attempt. Um and then this if we don't make it then that's what we'll pick up off of next time, and if we do make it, then we'll pick up um I think I don't think there's a bonfire inside. So we'll run back here, stop at the bonfire, rest up, and then um, we'll pick up at the bonfire where we left, you know, and keep on moving forward like we've been doing in the previous episodes. Um, once again, though, you know, um, definitely like, comment, subscribe. You know, I'm always looking for, um, you know, more subscribers to join the Nicknacking Empire. You know, I would appreciate having you. We can have build more of a community here. Uh, you know, I'm always willing to you know have conversations back and forth and talk about things. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it's something for for me to to kind of reach out to you guys. So I definitely appreciate you know any feedback and any um, you know any time that you guys want to give me. So thank you so much for that. Alright, so we are making our way through all this craziness again.
I don't want to fight you guys, because you guys suck to fight. If you have slow weapons. And I know I got the katana, which is a little bit faster, but I don't want to... I don't feel like wasting time on you guys. You guys are definitely a waste of time. Because if I run past you, there's nothing you can do about it. And that's the best thing ever. Okay, we made it past him. Around the corner. Drink up. Drop down. <laughs> we made it. Wow, that area gave me so much trouble before. I guess as a ninja, I'm a little bit more, more agile, I guess is the best way to put it. Cool. Hey, Sunny McSun, bro, what's up? There you are. You've been quite smooth. Anytime you let. Cool. We're just gonna hang out with you here then. Uh, let's go ahead and level up. Uh, put some in health. Yeah, it gets me to a thousand. So let's see if there's anything to explore in here real quick. All right, we're gonna take a look around in here, see if there's anything to actually really take a look at. Fight this guy. Yeah, I'm really, uh, really excited for all the progress we made today. We made a lot of progress, a lot more than I was actually expecting. So that is good. I got some sunlight medals. I think that's good enough for today, guys. Um, we made some good progress. We made it all the way up to... We made we got the shortcut for Anne Orlando. We actually made it inside. Got the second bonfire in Anne Orlando. Um, we took on the Iron Golem. I mean, today has been a busy, busy episode. So, you know, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, and remember, whatever you do, it's all good.